there is a silent killer hiding in your business. In a dark corner, under a desk, on top of the refrigerator? Well, today we're going to bring this bad actor into the light and stop him cold. The silent killer is actually hiding in your revenue numbers, and its name, churn. Every year, SaaS companies lose billions of dollars to churn. That's right, billions. Rough calculations, 30 billion. Think about that. Wrap your mind around that number. Imagine what your business could do with just a tiny fraction of that lost revenue. Well, let's explore the impact on revenue and growth and why tackling churn head on is crucial for the survival of your business. Churn is more than just a metric. It is a significant threat to your business. And if you think it's not an issue, if you think you're okay, and I used to, the reality is that you are more at risk than someone who is in the battle and knows that they have an enemy out there. Some early warning signs of churn include declining engagement, increased support tickets, and a lack of product adoption. And to complicate things further, sometimes it's a lack of support tickets. You know, not hearing from your customers is not a good thing. The challenge is real. And every customer lost means not only lost revenue, but also higher acquisition costs to replace them. Filling a leaky bucket and wondering why the water level isn't rising is not a fun place to be. Churn can choke growth, drain resources, and ultimately jeopardize the business's sustainability overall. That future-proof thing? Gone. So how do you spot and address churn before it's too late? Let's talk about some strategies and best practices to prevent churn. The first is customer engagement. Regularly engage with your customers through personalized communication. You can use in-app messages, emails, feedback surveys to understand their needs and address concerns. But here's the thing. Don't just rely on emailed surveys. Made that mistake. Active engagement keeps your brand top of mind and shows customers that you value their input. Real conversations like humans, like we used to do. Yeah, in my SaaS company, we have a KPI for our client success team to have a meaningful conversations with at least 95% of their assigned clients every single month. And if they say, you know, oh, you don't need to call me, you know, then we aren't adding value in that conversation. You know, that's not a good sign. That means we need to add more value and, and be there and deliver something at a higher level for those customers. And number two, I'll just call retention techniques. Implement a robust onboarding process to ensure customers fully understand how to use your product. Churn prevention starts when they sign the contract, not when they're up for renewal. You know, it's not like last minute and I hate those, you know, those phone calls. Oh, hey, are you going to renew? I mean, it's got to be something that is ongoing and offer ongoing training support to help them maximize the value of your solution. You know, maybe it's related specifically to your solution, how to use it, but it could also be industry information, you know, how to be great at their role and use your tool to, to help them be even better. Uh, loyalty programs, discounts, exclusive content, all of these can help incentivize long-term commitment. Contract length absolutely matters. Uh, annual payments, multi-year contracts, these are huge, huge factors in preventing churn. Uh, there are churn solutions, and we'll talk with our founder guest today about this. You know, cancellation flows, for example, saving them in, in that process. And the third one is proactive support monitor customer usage patterns and set up alerts for signs of disengagement. And this is one that I really messed up because we lost a few clients, but we sold the enterprise. So they weren't tiny or insignificant. You know, it didn't happen often. And so we didn't have alerts. You know, I just thought we were okay. Remember back at the beginning, you think you're okay. Be careful. Uh, Cause you know, I thought we were okay until we weren't because you lose nobody for three years. And then we lost like three and a quarter. And when I looked at the data, we should have known six months before. You could see the decline in usage in the bar chart. Preventable? Maybe, probably in some cases. I mean, not always, but sometimes absolutely for sure we could have. But once they've signed the contract and migrated, too late. You know, even if we couldn't have saved them, could I have forecasted revenue better, adjusted spending, been more prudent in hiring? Of course, all of those things, but saving them for, for sure. Yeah, that, that's the goal. 
But, you know, all the more reason to reach out proactively and offer assistance and solutions before small issues become reasons for churn. A dedicated customer success team can make a significant difference in maintaining high, high satisfaction levels, you know, net promoter score and others. And, and ours is absolutely stellar in that. Uh, but it's you know, one of those things that was really born out of necessity because I thought we were OK until we weren't. But addressing churn early is vital. You know, it really is the silent killer. Churn kills growth. It kills momentum, kills morale, kills confidence, you know, kills companies. But most of it is preventable. You know, you're the one who can put this killer on ice and drive sustainable growth for your business and become future proof. Let me know what you think in the comments below. What other things are you doing to prevent churn in your business? Tell me your ideas.